Hi, Santa Ana teachers. My name is Andrea Earle, and I'm going to do a quick walkthrough tutorial on how to set up your Canvas courses for the 2021 school year. When you logged into your Canvas account, you've probably been working on a shell course, but the district has pushed out courses to you with students. But when you look at it, you'll probably see a lot of courses. So at first, the district pushed out generic shell courses for you that had all your sections but no students and those were pushed out by semester so if you taught sixth grade honors math and sixth grade standard math you would have had four classes those are the courses we're going to ignore we're not going to use those instead you now see the district has pushed out your courses so that they are all separate by sections which, as we know, makes it a little more difficult to teach. So we're going to do something called cross-listing. But first, you need to find one of your courses. And if you look at this course here, this is, I'm in Mrs. Garcia's account. It says Math 7, Period 1, Garcia. And then below it says Math 7, Period 1, Garcia. And it does say 2021 and the school name. I'm going to select that course and obviously no modules. If you go down to settings on the bottom left, you can check your, first you're gonna check your title. You do wanna change this title to something, probably this is just gonna be math seven, get rid of the period one, because we're gonna put all of our periods in there. So math seven Garcia, but you wanna make sure that you put the year so that you can find this next year or later on and you don't mix it up with all the other courses. My recommendation is that you then copy that course name and put it in the course code because that's what kids see when they're actually in the course. Now just to make sure that it's the right course if you look down below you're gonna see for SIS it's gonna say 2021 then dash 101 is the Mendez school ID but it'll have your ID and then it'll have the section number after, which we don't need to worry about, okay? All right, once you have that, make sure you definitely hit course details. Um, one other thing you might want to change to make your life easier is to add an image. Uh, if you don't have an image ready, go to Unsplash, and you can type in any word you want. I know Mrs. Garcia loves flowers, so I'm gonna pick flowers for her image. But you can always change that and personalize it later. But again, this will give you a visual so you know which class you're working in. Okay, the last thing that you might want to do is set your course, oh, not, not that one. You want to set your course to public. And the reason you want to do this is you want parents to be able to see the course, but they can't see the student work. All right, go ahead and click Update Course Details. That is step one. 